Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to this channel. So this is it, the day uh, that we start the interior detailing on Tahiti. Now I went ahead and pulled the uh, two middle seats as well as the rear bench. I got the jack reinstalled. Right now I'm gonna come in here um, try to vacuum all this crap up and then I'm gonna come in with some carpet cleaner wet vac and try to scrub the crap out of this carpet and I mean crap there are some uh, questionable brown stains in this truck and a lot of them um, my guess is either coffee or soda or something else I don't really know but this carpet is really really filthy you can see I removed these middle seats here just because there's all stains like uh, caught underneath them. When you flip the seat up to fold it down, you could just see all this crap under them. So my plan for today is to uh, just focus on the back. So just looking around here, there are little random like bits of candy and toys and um, whatnot. And here actually between the seat, there is a whole cookie in there. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I can't even get to that. So regardless, the uh, passenger seat's gonna have to come out. A bunch of like dried up food. There's a little tiny shoe right there. We come up over to the other side. And we come over to the driver's side. There is a prehistoric French fry over here that when I touched it, it just turned to dust. Yeah, so this thing needs one hell of a cleaning. I mean, over here too, I noticed uh, there are little tiny bits of glass. So I guess at one point, um, I don't know if the truck got broken into or a back window broke because there's uh, all this little bit of uh, tinted safety glass, um, you know, spread under the seat, under the seat brackets. But right now I'm going to go grab my vacuum. We're going to try to clean as much of this loose crap out as possible. Then I'm going to come in with a really thick, coarse brush, kind of loosen up um, any more dirt, hit it with the vacuum one more time. Then I'm going to come in with the uh, carpet cleaner and the wet vac, and I'm going to show you uh, the cleaner that I'm going to be using. All right, guys, so the vacuuming is finished. Didn't take me that long, maybe a half hour. Um, already it's looking a lot better. I got all the, uh, you know, the old food and big chunks of crap um, off the carpet. And all that's left now is to come in here and clean it. The first did was coming with the vacuum. I had to take the attachment off because there was too much like big crap in the way. I couldn't use the crevice tool. So I just vacuumed up all the big stuff, then came in with the crevice tool, gotten all the little crevices and stuff. And then came in with the uh, coarse brush over here. And all this does is loosen up anything that's really stuck into the carpet or, um, you know, any chunks of stuff that are like stuck to the surface. Anything pretty much um, that's just hanging on by a thread that the vacuum can't get up. This will uh, get that stuff up. Then I came in here, hit it with the uh, vacuum one more time. And that's where we are right now. For all this stuff in here, I'm going to come in and uh, clean that with like some simple green or degreaser. That's going to come in when I uh, actually do all the panels and stuff. So for now, we're going to be focusing just on the carpet. So my plan of attack is pretty simple. I'm going to be using Folex. Uh, carpet spot remover. This I got in Lowe's. I think it was like 15 bucks for the gallon. Um, just a quick Google search on um, a great carpet cleaner for cars. This is what came up. So I went to Lowe's, picked this up. I also got two bottles here. One is going to have the straight carpet cleaner in it. The other one just has warm water. And uh, for actually sucking out the dirt and stuff, I'm going to be using my wet vac um, with this attachment. I got this kit off of Amazon. I think it was like 30 or 40 bucks. Um, pretty much it's uh, it works with uh, regular shop vacs and it's an auto cleaning kit. So uh, they give you all these little brushes and crevice tools and stuff like that but the only thing i wanted it for uh it comes with the hose too but i wanted this piece here because this is actually going to uh, really create a nice seal and suck all of the uh the carpet cleaner and stuff out of there so we're going to spray it with the cleaner scrub it with the brush spray it with the water and then suck it out hopefully um i'm feeling pretty optimistic i mean as dirty as this is I already used this stuff on the floor mat and they came out so much better uh, than they were. And they had some of that like Coke brown mystery stain on it as well. So I'm feeling pretty good about the carpet cleaner. Worst case, the good thing is this carpet is split. 
So even if it looks like complete crap and I'm done, I can't get it out, it's split here. So I can always get a back section of carpet because that's really what has all the stains on it. But we'll go ahead, clean it and uh, see how it comes out. Also, I just want to show you guys this vacuum is completely empty. So by the time I'm done, we're going to see exactly how filthy uh, the water is going to be in here. I just want to interrupt for a second. I'm finding a little bit disconcerting that some of the stains turn red after I clean the uh, the dried brown spot off of the top. Um, anyone who has any guesses on what these stains might be, leave a comment. But I have a feeling just for laughs, maybe we're gonna see if we can uh, get a hold of some luminol or something. And um, I'll leave some of these stains untouched, maybe like the ones dripping down the side. Just for laughs, um, you know, to see if these are actually um, drink stains or something else, because there seems to be a lot of them. Uh, yeah. So here we are so far. Um, it's been about two hours since I started. That includes the vacuuming and all the scrubbing. I just ran out of the cleaner. So on my way to work, I'm gonna grab another gallon of that. But so far, I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, the back here wasn't that dirty compared to the front, uh, but you can see it came out very nice. There's still uh, you know, some yellowing and like brown stains you can see up there too. I'll get up there in a second. Um, but for the most part, all of that dripping and like, uh, crap soda whatever the hell was dripping on the side there all that came out very very nicely uh same thing for the side it had a little bit not as much as that side um but coming around to the front there's still quite a bit of uh like brown staining but a lot of it came up the thing i'm noticing is um when you spray the cleaner on it the stain just completely disappears and then once you suck it out you're drawing um 
when you put the cleaner on, it sinks down into the fiber, and then once you suck it up, you're drawing it out up towards the top again. So that's why the stain's kind of uh, coming back. I noticed after I clean it, if I just really, uh, if I clean it, vacuum it, and then saturate it with water again, um, more of the stain is going to come out. I'm going to go some more cleaner, hit all this one more time, try to get it um, a little bit lighter. But so far, I mean, this is a huge improvement over what it was. Before I hit it again, let's see what we have uh, in the first pass as far as the dirt goes. A little bubbly. Ooh. That is black. Wow. I'm gonna try to drain this out here. That, that literally just looks like pure Coke. And that looks like mud. All right guys, so it's the next day where we left off yesterday. I went to Lowe's, I got some more cleaning solution, and I also went and picked up one of these guys. Now this is a carpet um, cleaning extractor machine. Pretty much it's those machines you see all the details use where it shoots water out and at the same time it's sucking all the uh, dirt and crap out of the carpet and you can see it all come through with a nice clear tip here. Um, but I made a community post on YouTube yesterday and um, one of you guys commented that I could go to uh, Home Depot rent one of these things. The way everything came out so far, um, I got it pretty clean. I mean, it's definitely a lot better. I'm noticing now a lot of the stuff, being the stains were so heavy in like one area, it pretty much uh, just got spread around a little bit. Like over here, um, it's just kind of, you know, yellowed everything mostly. And this is still kind of damp, but if I rub my hand against it, it still comes off um, as like brown. So all the dirt and the crap is loose, but I just can't, get it all out of the fibers of the carpet. Now the wet vac is working as far as, you know, watering it down, sucking it out. It's just taking a lot of time. So to speed everything up, I got this little machine I'm gonna be using. It was 26 bucks with tax to rent it for one day. Um, I already filled it up with water and a tiny bit of the uh, cleaning solution. I'm not gonna put, uh, I didn't wanna put too much in here just because I'm gonna be spraying it on with that and um, gonna be scrubbing it in and then I'm just using that really to rinse it because all the dirt is pretty much loose. I just need to pull it out of the carpet. Also, while I have this machine, I'm going to uh, pull the front seats today and uh, we're gonna get the carpet cleaned up there. That way I could bring this back. All the carpets will be good. And then from there, I'll just go back to uh, getting the seats all cleaned up and then, um, you know, doing the panels and getting the leather swapped out on the front two seats.
All right, guys, so what do you think? You saw the before shots. This car was pretty much destroyed. Um, it was just stained with like soda or chocolate milk or blood or I don't know what the hell it was, but it was all over the place. I mean, it was all dripping down over there. Um, it all puddled down under the seat over there. Then it just kind of went along the rocker all the way up to the front seat. Same thing on this side. This whole part was kind of stained, came right underneath here. Um, and it just followed its way all the way up to like over here. Um, also in this area on the other side, same thing. I mean, it was just everywhere. There's also some of it like dripping down here. So I don't know what the hell happened, where all those stains came from, but I think I got this carpet looking pretty good. I just want to mention, yeah, you could go and uh, pick up another carpet. Um, of course, that's going to involve a little more work. I mean, you can have to pull all of the uh, interior plastics off. Uh, you can have to pull the center console off. So, I mean, if you go this far, some people might say, why don't you just go and replace the carpet? Well, I did for a couple of reasons. One thing, a carpet is obviously going to be more money. I think for um, the whole entire carpet, it's around 300 bucks. I did a quick like uh, Google search on a site and um, that's the price that I saw. The other thing is um, a lot of older cars, I mean, uh, you know, not this one in particular, but a lot of like classic cars, um, you know, sometimes parts just aren't available and you might have a carpet in there um, and you know, you can't get a reproduction piece and uh, it might be a lot of money to go to a upholstery shop and actually have one custom made. So um, if it's in good shape, and there's no tears and it's just filthy. I mean, this just goes to show, uh, this wasn't even a black carpet, this is a beige carpet. And look how clean I was able to get it. I was able to get all of those stains out. There's still like a few spots where it's like a little yellow. Over here, you can see that looks like it might be blood or something, I'm not sure. Uh, but for the most part, a lot of the stuff is gonna be under the seat. Like that spot is gonna be under the back seat. You're not gonna see it. Um, over here, you can see it's still a little bit like uh, yellow. I really didn't focus too much under the seat because you know all of this isn't gonna be seen. Um, this little red over here, that's gonna be covered by the floor mat as well. All the food and junk, like I was able to come in here, clean it all off of the uh, center console bracket over here. In the back, you saw just how destroyed uh, the transmission tunnel hump was over here. Um, I got that pretty clean as well. It's a little like red over here where it might be fruit punch or something. Um, there's a little pen ink over there, but once again, that's gonna be under the seat. As well as in the corner, that's where it was really, really uh, yellow. I think where the cup holder was, it came down, it splashed all over that wheel well there, and then it kind of just like pulled up and sat right there where it eventually made its way up front. So I think that's why that part's really, really yellow. But most of that's covered by the seat. I got some nice uh, little carpet lines going on there. Same thing back here. I was able to get in here and get all of the gunk and like crayons and crap out of um, where the uh, third row latches in, as well as uh, the cup holders. I just popped them out. You saw, um, hit them with some spray nine, scrubbed them a little bit with a detail brush, got them nice and clean. Same thing back here. I got all that like splattered crap off the uh, plastics, got the cup holder nice and cleaned out there. And uh, the back carpet's looking absolutely amazing as well. Um, I also came in here with the detail brush and uh, some more spray nine and just uh, got into all these ridges, got these plastics really, really clean. Now this spray nine is great for this stuff. It's pretty much like a heavy duty uh, household cleaner and it just works so, so well for getting like uh, plastics and stuff. It just takes all of that like caked on dirt and um, grease and like scuffs and stuff right off. Um, gets it super smooth, nice and clean. So I would definitely recommend picking that stuff up um, if you have a lot of interior plastics plastics to clean. The other thing is, uh, which I didn't use today, I didn't need it yet. I might need it when I do the door panels. Um, and Mr. Clean Magic Eraser is really good for cleaning uh, scuffs or any like really hard to clean dirt, like off of the lower areas of the panel where your foot is constantly kicking into and stuff. Like uh, and a little scuff, stuff like that. So I would definitely recommend picking up one of them. But I'm gonna link everything I use in the description in this video. So the bleach spray that I ended up picking up midway through to uh, apply the carpet cleaner, this worked so much better than the little spray bottles, as well as the uh, spray nine cleaner. All this stuff I got at Lowe's, uh, the brush here that I was using to uh, agitate the carpet and really scrub the cleaner in there, as well as uh, this little brush here. This I'm going to be using um, when I actually scrub the seats. So uh, that's gonna be in an upcoming video. And I was also using that to clean all the panels with the uh, spray nine, um, as well as my little uh, detail brush here. This is a mother's brush. I think I got this off Amazon. Um, if I can find it, I'm also gonna link this below. I would definitely recommend just going to Home Depot and picking this thing up. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I had that, um, that kind of a uh, wet vac attachment kit that I got off Amazon. I think it was like 40 bucks. I'll link that below too, just in case you want to pick that up. I mean, it comes with a lot of good parts um, for your wet vac. If you just want to even turn your wet vac kind of into like a detail vacuum, um, that's definitely a good thing to have because it comes with the crevice tool and everything. So I'm going to link that kit below as well as my um, Metro vac that I was using when I was vacuuming the truck. I would definitely pick this thing up. It was only 26 bucks um, for the day. You have to put a $50 deposit down, but once you bring it back, they give you the 50 back. So um, after tax, it was 26 bucks uh, for 24 hours. So I would 
definitely recommend just going to Home Depot and picking that up. It's gonna make your life a lot easier um, if your carpet is as filthy as mine was. So for the next video, we're gonna come in here, get these door panels nice and clean. I do have to go and pick up some more Spray 9. Uh, so that's gonna be for the next one. I also have uh, replacement reflectors here for the two rear doors, as well as the one that goes in the front there that's actually uh, has a light bulb in it. We're also gonna be tackling these seats. I did get the replacement leather in for the bottom. The backs I'm just gonna clean. Um, I didn't really notice until now when I pulled them out. There's actually like a little tear over over here as well as uh this is a scrape i saw that i didn't know this was actually teared open so i'm probably eventually going to be at least changing um the driver's back the only reason i'm not doing it now is because it's kind of a little more of a pain in the ass than just doing the bottom and uh the bottom is a lot worse so i'm just going to clean this up um, with some leather cleaner scrub it really good we'll cover that in the next video and then of course we'll finish up come in get the dashboard nice and clean come in with the touch-up brush and the matching paint to get these little areas up here taken care of and then really the only thing is going to be left is the uh headliner i'm not sure what i'm going to do with that yet i mean i'm going to hold off for now all these vents have like candy and crap just stuck in them so once i pull it down to replace it or uh, reupholster it i'll be cleaning these out then but for now i'm just going to leave them if you guys want to follow me on instagram link is going to be in the description as always uh, i've been working on this truck a while so for any of you guys who just started following me or just found the channel um, i picked this up a few videos ago from an auction for 1200 bucks and slowly i've just kind of been restoring it back um you know to a reliable clean and uh, nice looking daily driver so if you want to see more cleaning videos uh like this definitely stay tuned because as i mentioned we're going to be tackling the seats the door panels eventually this headliner plus i have a lot of mechanical stuff going on i'm going to be doing a tune-up on the truck soon um you know probably spark plugs wires fuel filters stuff like that so definitely stay tuned if you're interested in more repair videos so i'm going to run down to lowe's right now pick up some more spray nine i gotta stop at home depot return the carpet cleaner all the parts you see right here are going to be linked in the description and of course as always if you enjoyed this video please be sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one